Love here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family. Um, y'all, I just love you guys, man. Um, thank you guys for the comments. We cut up in the comments. If you want to win a, re a mini reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video that you enjoy, and you can hit the notification bell to know when I upload, and drop me a comment. So it says, <laughs> y'all, somebody's mind. It's baby they thinking about all the things they used to do with you okay that's what somebody is thinking about here with all that energy this weekend they need to be thinking about something else especially if it's a past person here but this person somebody's thinking about spending time with you here okay for some of you guys you have somebody else that's around you as well that already has been picturing being together with you Okay, but somebody wants you to know that this is not just a physical connection for them. This is a spiritual connection. Okay, so it's not just something, uh, you know, passionate, right? <laughs> but then yet again here, this is somebody that wants to watch y'all. They're trying to watch some type of movies with y'all. They want to spend time with you, right? That that That's pretty much what it is here. But this is somebody here that knows that you guys have a deeper connection. Even if it, for some of you guys, it definitely could have started off as something that was physical here. Yeah, we have over here, it says, I come to you in your dreams here. Okay. And somebody likes, you know, the way you guys' hairstyle, right? Or how you got your fade lined up, right? Or um, how you're switching your hair around, you know, your different hairstyles, whatever it is that you're doing here. You know, somebody finds you guys very attractive yeah but this is somebody here <laughs> that regrets running when things got real with you okay all right so i don't know why it's so many of these type of messages but i guess this is what's heavily on somebody's mind okay your wand or how you throw it back well, I guess they should have made better decisions if it's somebody from the past, right? Because I feel like somebody wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too here. But I don't know about y'all, but I'm a, I'm a for one only person, right? So um, I feel like somebody here very well could not have been honest about that, right? Maybe they had another situation in the background or multiple other situations going on, okay? Maybe somebody was non-committal or maybe somebody was acting like they were single here. Or maybe you were with somebody and they really were just out there doing their thing um, and acting single, okay? So it's like somebody over here is uh, really regretting their decisions that they made in the past here because now they're thinking about all these different things that they want to do with you, right? Yeah, now somebody knows that they love you here, okay? They're in love with you. Has somebody's third party over here ready to box. For some of y'all with that energy this weekend, somebody definitely was physically fighting over y'all, okay? So for some of you guys, they definitely did get in a physical altercation, okay? Um, because I feel like people are telling this person, listen, if, you, if, you're, if you're going to be, I don't know if it's something that you posted or if it's just something, a conversation that they had with this person here, but they feel like, listen, go, go ahead and be with who you want to be with already. Like somebody's third party really could have just told them that. Like, listen, you care so much about what they're doing. Go be with them. <laughs> okay. This is somebody that loves kissing you here. Okay. Or there's somebody around here that is thinking about that. Somebody really could love your smile. They could love your lips. They love your hair here. Okay. They love the way that you make them feel. Okay. They're in another connection. It looks like for some of you, or they've been connecting with somebody else that makes them feel to defeated right nobody likes feeling disempowered yeah we have attached here it says getting to know one another more getting closer to each other somebody wants to be attached with y'all somebody wants to uh, take things to the next level with y'all here okay yeah this is somebody that wants to talk about their feelings with y'all okay so it's, it's not just about the intimacy it is about the fact that this person has you know some things that they want to get off their chest here yeah, some of y'all, y'all got some type of hookup situation coming in, okay? Maybe it's somebody else that you're dating. Maybe you're already in a relationship like I am. You just tune in for the tea here, okay? Or maybe this person over here, things could have, you know, just started as some type of hookup with you, right? And then they done fell in love, okay? Maybe they realized that too late. 
yeah, for some of y'all, like I said, you were dealing with somebody that had committal issues, baby. They they were uh <laughs> and their committal issues gets them in all types of bad situations. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Or connected with the wrong people. Because Carmisha or Quan was cutting up this weekend. Like, it was supposed to be, you know, these other, re it was supposed to be a joyous time. I mean, at least here in the States, because it was Father's Day and somebody's third party, or somebody was doing the most with a third party here. Like, they really was getting into it. Uh-uh, we gotta do peace over here. Yeah, y'all focus on your business, okay? You guys are on some type of glow up here. There's some type of transformation that this wa this person has watched you go through here. Some of y'all are about to go through some type of transformation, okay? For some of you guys, I'm hearing a uh, lifestyle, uh, lifestyle upgrade here, okay? So whatever that means for you, I feel like you're about to be taken to the next level. I feel like your skills, your talents continue to develop them because that is also, you know, what's helping you to get there. Okay, for some of you guys, this is going viral or there's somebody here. You guys can have somebody that is already in some type of celebrity energy that is watching you here. Okay, they have their eye on you here. Okay, for some of you guys, it's like somebody very well. I don't know. I don't know if it's that they want to be the first to discover you or if this is somebody that just knows that you have a lot of potential here. Okay, but they're waiting for some type of transformation to happen within your life so they can come in to bring some type of offer. That's for somebody here, right? Because you guys are celebrity star seed energies here. So that is the energy that you attract. A lot of you guys are already in, um, you know, uh, recognized and successful on your own, right? But there's something coming in that's going to take y'all to the next level. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of people see it. Okay. Somebody definitely could want to bring you flowers. They want to take you out to dinner. Okay, there's somebody coming in that wants to romance you. Yeah, they really do. It's stressing them out, too. <laughs> it's stressing them out, y'all. They've been dubbing the pain. Okay, smoking, drinking, hopefully not taking pills, baby. I don't know what it is. Okay, I feel like somebody is stressing, recovering from whatever the hell went down this weekend. You can check out those previous readings if you want to know, but next reading we're probably going to, you know, get some messages from the OG box. Yeah, it's about to go down. It's going down in somebody's life right now. Okay, just crazy scenarios here, back to back. And I feel like somebody could have thrived on that type of energy for a while too, right? Sometimes you get used to unhealthy patterns until you identify it and then you actively make changes, you know, to, uh, to, to want better for yourself here. I feel like somebody is realizing that they need to want better for themselves and you're inspiring them to change here, okay? And I feel like you guys are doing it from a loving place. You're not doing it from a cocky or an arrogant place here. Okay, I really feel like somebody, you know, they definitely could have caught Karmisha or Kwan cheating or they really felt like this person, you know, was really only using them here. Okay, and for some of you, you know, somebody could even felt like somebody was just with them because of the way that they looked, right? Especially if you're a masculine watching too, you got a girl that you're interested in, right? Like, I really feel like somebody here, you know, they're not trying to be somebody's arm candy. You feel me? Like so, somebody is here like, listen, I have a braid, right? Yeah, we have no contact block, doesn't want to be bothered. This could be y'all right now. Like, I feel like it's hard to get a hold of y'all. <laughs> y'all not, let me put that out here. Like, y'all not messing around with anybody here, okay? Listen, somebody really loves the way y'all do your makeup here, okay? Baby, she got that cut crease on point, okay? Riri right here. And they like, just like Riri, they like, where have you been, Okay. Yeah, somebody is reaching their limit here. They can't hold back anymore. It says trying to be patient can no longer continue doing something. Yeah, okay. And you guys, you could have new love that's already around you or that's coming in here, okay? But if it's somebody that's already around you, they are reaching their limit with, with not being able to tell you how it is that they feel, okay? And this is somebody that wants to date y'all, okay? Yeah, they've been admiring y'all for a while here. Okay, this is somebody I'm hearing that um, like you just stand out. Your energy stands out. Someone really sees you in this emperor or empress energy here. Okay, but they also feel like you're very down to earth. Okay, and what they love about you, 
okay? Like the collective that I'm picking on, what they love about you is that you don't let everybody have access to your energy. You definitely don't let everybody touch you, right? Your body is your vessel here. Okay, I feel like someone else could have been dealing with somebody. For some of you, they were dealing with somebody that was, we've already seen it. Very promiscuous, will do whatever for money, right? Or clout or come up, okay? What is this? Yeah, they were living in a fantasy world with that person here, okay? For some of you, it was multiple people that they were dealing with. Okay, Carmisha and Cayenne, or Quan and uh, and I don't know, uh, what Kenny Cairo and I don't know somebody over here though. They were really, they were, baby, they were making some bad choices here with multiple different people that they were dating here. For some of you, like I said, they have at least two. Or at least one or two salty uh, uh, karmics that they have that are living in a fantasy world here thinking um, for some of you that they could do spell work on you, okay? Thinking that they really can just um, treat this person however and this person is going to stay with them. That's a no here. Okay, somebody is really getting into it because they call feelings for y'all. It says, can't stop the attraction between you both emotional connections. Somebody is really, someone's almost mad with themselves. I'm picking up on some type of mad energy. They're mad that they can't stop thinking about you. They're mad that, um, that they haven't, you know, that they made so many mistakes here. Yeah, nervous. My heart stops when you look at me. This person is real nervous, okay? Especially if they was doing something shady here with Carmisha or Kwan. They know it's about to go down. Okay, they know it. Didn't I tell you this person feels like you changed them? Okay, being around you, okay, or in hindsight, looking back and seeing how much you tried to help them, how much you tried to be there for them, how much you could have tried to give them great advice. Okay, this person is becoming a better person. They're working, they want to work on, they want to work on them. Okay, but they got a lot of other stuff going on in the background here. Let's go ahead and ask some tarot on this thing. <laughs> Let's see what's going on, y'all. What do you guys need to know? I just feel a lot of blessings coming in for y'all. Yeah, Page of Pentacles here. Woo, somebody is really watching y'all. They want to give y'all some type of offer here. But be careful because I feel like somebody also, they're going to come in. They're not going to tell you the truth about their financial situation here, okay, or what they're really going through. Because I feel like somebody... Um, Yeah, for some of y'all, they really got into a contract for money. Like, that's really what I'm seeing in this imagery. But what I'm also seeing is this is the page of pentacles here. Okay, but he dressed in like a king of pentacles. So somebody's money is really not what they are portraying it to be when they come towards you. But there's something about you partnering together with this person that's going to elevate them. So wh wh whatever it is, okay, wherever they're at, whether they're a page, a knight, a king, queen, whatever it is, there's emperor, empress status when they come together with you. And see, these demonic entities attached to these different people know that. That's why they strategically like to keep people apart, okay? And they just attach on to anybody that's low vibrational that's around that can do that. Okay, because those demonic entities, um, they're here to steal, kill, and destroy, right? So they don't want someone thriving in a loving connection, right? Helping the community, helping the collective. They don't want that. And so someone, someone realizes that they fell for the wrong offer. For some of you, they fell for somebody else that has some type of, um, that has people watching them in some type of way here. And now somebody is, is realizing that, uh, yeah, they made the wrong decision here because y'all are bossing up here. Somebody could have even seen y'all only as the page of Pentacles. if I'm going to be real with you. It's like somebody could have underestimated you. Maybe they didn't see your full potential, okay? Maybe they were only looking, with, uh, looking at the physical. Maybe they were only looking at the 3D. Maybe they didn't realize, you know, how the skill set that you have 
the divine favor that you have, right? The diligence that you have. Okay, so someone could have talked to you like you were a page of pentacles, like, oh, you know, that's such and such. When the whole time, baby, they had the bag right there with you. They could have had everything had they worked on this connection with you. Man, somebody's kicking themselves here. They fell for a fake emperor or empress, okay, in the reverse. That's what they fell for here. Okay, somebody that drains them, somebody that's codependent. It's nothing but drama within that connection. Somebody's always playing the victim here. Now somebody wants to communicate with you. Like I said, for some of you guys, you have somebody that's looking at you, whether it's in a work sector or is wanting to date you. Okay, but really watch with your eyes because you got a page coming towards you and you got somebody that's in boss energy coming towards you. Right? It's giving me that someone from the past isn't on your level anymore. Bam, because this is what you have coming towards you. The Ace of Pentacles here. And it's not just money here. You see that hand coming out, coming out the ground, baby? You got it out the mud. You worked hard for something here. Okay? But you were not willing to throw your principles to the side to get it. I feel like somebody else was willing to do anything for money here. And that's why it's about to go down over here. And then they're going to, and now they're looking at you. <sighs> like one of y'all wrote in the comments. Um, that's why I love reading y'all's comments because y'all be on point, baby. They crying over spilled milk here. It's like the five of cups energy is what it is because they were being deceptive here. They fell for somebody deceptive or they were being deceptive or they really wanted to give you an offer. They really know you're the person that they should be with. But some of you, they're married in another situation here. Maybe there's kids involved. For others of you, maybe you were married to this person here. They stepped out. Okay, or in a relationship with this person, they stepped out for some of you because they um, they were looking with carnal eyes, right? And not spiritualized. They didn't see what your relationship could materialize here. And it didn't even grow the way that it was meant to grow. Like this is for somebody here. Yeah, what's this no contact? Yeah, oh, they love you. They drinking, they thinking about it. They're still worried about other people's opinions here. They couldn't make up their mind here. They're trying to find balance within their life here, okay? Some of you, they're intimidated by your spiritual abilities or your intuition or that you know when they own some bullshit, <laughs> okay? They see that you're in between realms here. They see that you're not from here, period. High priest or high priestess energy, okay? Let's keep it real. If somebody not taking action towards you, they taking action somewhere most of the time. If they ain't smashing you, baby, who they smashing? Okay? Back in the day, I used to fall for the okie doke. And I don't, you know, I don't sugarcoat it. I keep it real with y'all. You know, I used to fall for the okie doke. I, I would believe, oh, no, I'm just depressed or I'm just this or I'm just that. No, you lying, right? Like, if, if, you, if someone is not actively taking action to pursue you, okay, it's because there's something else that, that they are definitely dealing with. Unless they're going, unless they are um, on a true spiritual journey, right? And it's them with the divine. And that's who they walk in together with, okay? And they're being abstinent in that, okay? Which some of you guys very well could be, right? Or you were for a long period of time like I was, right? You know, because abstinence is a beautiful thing. Somebody is lacking self-control, though. Or they were lacking self-control, yeah, here they are. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is reaching their limit here because no matter what they're doing, it's not enough within this karmic connection. That's what I was ta talking to you guys about. Like, that's one of the indicators that somebody is dealing with somebody that is in straight karmic energy here because the money is funny. Okay? And then all of a sudden you wonder why it is you disconnect with that person. You go from the Two of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. Why? Because it's an energetic exchange. The vibrations are picked up when you're giving, but you're not receiving in return across the board. So when you believe that you're deserving to receive and then you only, you know, invest with those connections and you cut off the people that are not giving to you or that are breadcrumbing you or that are indecisive. Okay. And they're going to be indecisive and regret their whole life. 
it, you know, losing you. That's what I'm seeing here. Then your money gets better because some of these people had bad karma attached to them for their decisions here. Okay, you're not gonna let nobody try to block your blessings. Okay, for some of you with this two of pentacles, there was at least two different people this person could have partnered together with or one person in particular. Okay, and maybe they were working together with this person or it could have just been Karmisha or Kwan they were connected to that also was trying to slow down your money. But baby, it's here. What is for you will not be withheld from you. What is for you, you will receive, right? Yeah, this person was over here stuck like Chuck with this hangman here. And that's the truth. They didn't know which way to go here. They cared about what everybody else was thinking here. Okay? And I understand, like, if, if a situation was involved and somebody had kids with something. But guess what? Your kids don't want to see you be miserable with the wrong person. They really don't. Kids are smart. They know. Okay? And the last thing you want are, your, are, are kids have an example of uh, how, you know, of, of fake love. Of somebody not even treating, you know, their parent with love and respect here. Okay? Or not even really passionate about that person. Nobody wants to see that. Kids don't want to see that. What's this risky behaviors? Disaster coming. Woo, child. Justice reversed, baby. Somebody's karmic could be going to jail. Somebody's karmic could be going to jail. Karmisha Kwan here. Okay? Or somebody is definitely... Uh, getting a divorce or breaking some type of karmic contract with at least one or two different people here and then they're gonna be ready to heal Daddy. yep and once they get themselves out of that karmic contract then they're gonna start to see the blessings start to pour in their life but it requires them to take action here and also the fact here that somebody knows for a fact that they treated you unfairly with this justice card in reverse okay they know for a fact that they did. But with the justice card in reverse, this is not even somebody that is taking accountability. Okay, baby says yes for what they was doing. Okay, I don't know if somebody is in. Let's talk about it. Aries, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy, Aquarian energy over here. Okay, Libra, distorted Libra energy. Okay, would be the Aries in reverse, like I said, which would be the Emperor or Empress in reverse that somebody's dealing with. Yeah, they know they need to apologize. Somebody is so nervous to apologize, so they just avoid you here. Or maybe they're trying to reach out to you to apologize, and you have just been avoiding them. But y'all have people coming in that are interested in you, okay? One of them could very well be an artist. They could be very creative here. This person could wear their heart on their sleeve here. Okay, somebody else could be very practical in how they approach you here. This is someone that handles things in a methodical way. Okay, and then you got a boss energy that's coming in. This person, or, or coming back together with, right? D depending on the situation. Person could be um, a manager, a CEO owner, right? Or this person here has a lot of success and a lot of recognition. This is somebody here that has a builder mindset. Yeah, a lot of y'all, y'all don't see it, though. Baby, you're going to have all kind of people coming towards you. Okay, some of you is going to be online and in the physical. Like, I'm definitely seeing that here. <laughs> okay? I'm definitely seeing that here. So, <clears throat> let me see. Let me pull some more messages for y'all, some final messages. So, I definitely see an increase in finances. Y'all put me some hearts, some money bags down below. Give me some champagne glasses. I mean, y'all gonna have options to be booed up with somebody, honey. Yeah, it says grand rising. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay? For a lot of you, what you've gone through with these with these people, I'm gonna say it like I'm gonna say it. These people that have acted like they were straight from hell has elevated you. Okay? Because a lot of you were very loving, very nurturing. You didn't realize that people could be that evil for some of you. Okay? And when you went through those experiences... Okay, it really showed you how to navigate um, the world, right? Navigate dealing with different types of people here, the boundaries that you needed to have. I feel like your spiritual team is very proud of your progression here. For some of you, they feel like y'all being too hard on yourself. We have expect the unexpected here. Yeah, okay? 
Justice card in reverse, baby. While they over there getting lost in the sauce, you're not going to get lost in the sauce with them. Couldn't believe those readings this weekend. Some of them I didn't even want to upload. I was like, man, like, really? Like, this is what people are going through. And some of you, they are old as hell. Like, really? <clears throat> like, how you in your 30s, 40s, 50s, I pray to God, not 60s, you know, still dealing with hoes or still getting used for money or still doing stuff you know you shouldn't be doing? I know. Yeah, you will never lose. Keep walking in your purpose here, okay? Continue to turn your passions into a paycheck. Yeah, this is a sign for somebody here um, to start their own business. And if they already have a business, maybe there's something else that you want to go back to school for to create a business for. Do it, right? Get whatever additional skills are necessary here. Yeah, you definitely dodged a bullet with this past energy here. You definitely do because they're going through some tower moments right now. Okay, for a lot of you, they're going through tower moments for messing with y'all. Okay, somebody is definitely a singer or a rapper here because my baby been singing this entire reading. <laughs> y'all, she been confirmation this entire reading. Shoot, she know. Yeah, it says keep your thoughts, expectations, and outlook positive and optimistic and trusting your creative and manifesting abilities here. I'm trying to tell you, water those seeds here. Okay, because the devil's going to try to test you with some of these energies that are coming towards you. But you already know here. Okay. And confirmation, your light is irritating a lot of demons right now, as it should. Put some crowns down below. Love you guys. Namaste.